Welcome back to the Theme Park Wizard. In today's video, we're going to talk about all about the How to Train Your Dragon Isle of Berkland, Universal Orlando. Released tons and tons of new details on the land, including the rides, the attractions, the shows, the shops, restaurants, and more. Universal states this land was developed in partnership with DreamWorks Animation themselves and the creators of the How to Train Your Dragon series to really make the locations and movies come to life. And in this land, I'm mean, looking at these beautiful renderings. Yeah, they come to life in such a beautiful way. As you, if you've been following my construction updates every other week or so, you see the Isle of Berg looks straight out of the movies already. And now this concept art, this beautiful concept art, confirmed what we're seeing. As soon as you guys enter th through the portals, you enter uh, the iconic sweeping vista straight from the films. That beautiful link with the two 40-foot-tall Vikings um, setting an interjected village perched above churning seas. This land takes t place in between movies 2 and 3 when all the dragons are living in harmony together. So you won't have any of the events of the first films where dragons are trying to attack you. This land features four attractions in a show, including Hiccup's Wing Gliders, the Untrainable Dragon Fire Drill, and a play area. And we're gonna go ahead, a Dragon's Races, Dragger's Races Rally, and a play area called the Viking Training Camp, plus some meet and greets, and we're gonna go over all of that right now. The official name of the roller coaster is Hiccup's Wing Gliders, which have a couple of animatronics, two launches, and we're going to a maximum speed of 45 miles per hour, which is not bad. It's a beautiful, nice family coaster with some thrill. Um, in the animation here, you can see some um, water effects and skimming the water, as well as fog effects as well. And the story of this attraction is Toothless, as a hiccup, is building the contraption so we can get a test and try to get our flying skills going. But then Toothless, you know, he accidentally launches us before the device is ready. So we're flying low to the ground and, uh, you know, kind of flailing along and skimming above the water because uh, our device is not quite finished yet. This ride has a height requirement of only... 40 inches, which is not bad, definitely for a nice universal coaster. Many people, it's like a true family coaster. Many people will be able to ride it, which is fantastic. In fact, every single attraction in this area has a height requirement of less than 50 inches, which is fantastic. The Untrainable Dragon is the show is going to be the almost the exact same show as the one at Universal Studios Beijing with a massive toothless animatronic uh, and puppet flying over you. And this Broadway-style show with this massive, massive theater. So that would be super cool to finally have one a live stage show at Universal again. Because the Universal you know, has been getting rid of their shows in their domestic parks, at least. You know, Hollywood and Orlando have been getting rid of some shows. So it's nice to have a nice big one coming back here in Epic Universe. And to have one with an animatronic. Super, super cool. And also, this will be like Universal's largest show yet, at least indoors, in this massive Broadway theater. Up next is Fire Drill, which is an attraction that everybody can ride because it has zero height requirements. So your grandma can get on it and your babies can get on it. And you can get on with a wheelchair. It's super accessible. It's basically like a, a Disneyland ride. Disneyland has lots of zero height requirement rides. This is a splash battle attraction. So you'll be um, shooting targets. Lots of those 2D figures like the trying to put out the fires from the trees. The dragons are setting everything on fire. So there's a whole bunch of objects you have to put out the fires. But also you can shoot other Vikings in the other boats as well. I'm sure people, you know, it's been confirmed via BioReconstruct's images, people on the outside of the attraction can sh uh, pay a couple bucks and shoot some cannons towards you as well. So you're uh, bound to get very wet on this attraction, which is great for the hot Florida sun. Up next is the... A Gerslauer flat ride attraction, the Dragon Racer Rally, and that's the thing where you get on your own you know, little plane style uh, vehicle, and you can flip and do can do as many barrel rolls as you like, or you can just not flip at all, and you can have nice leisurely rides, so you can really can control your own intensity, but still get a nice high flying adventure, and that's where um, you see that uh, those grand stands will be built um, with filled with dragons and people and the coaster will be diving under those as you can see in current construction photos in our last epic universe construction update the land's massive play area which obviously also has no height requirement is in the viking training camp junior vikings will learn everything they need to know about dragons as they climb slide and explore the way through a sprawling interactive venture play camp featuring a viking agility course a toothless themed teeter-totter baby grok dragon climbers and so much more Next to that will be the candy shop that we see painted in red and in current construction photos, and then a toothless meet and greet, which will also have Gobsmacker as well. This attraction, or this land, sorry, will have 
dragons flying overhead, robotic drone dragons flying overhead at nighttime, which would be fantastic, as well as various dragon meet and greets and a whole bunch of dragon animatronics on the dragon homes, dragon houses above the retail locations. You won't be able just to shop and ride stuff. You can also eat. And the land's main food area, uh, food uh, restaurant is Mead Hall, which will be it's just the, described as the beating heart of Burke in the village's main gathering hall. Mead Hall is where guests can take a feast, uh, a feast like a Viking and enjoy a savory menu, menu featuring a variety of meats, fish, sandwiches, and more, along with a collection of meads and ciders. And I have a feeling the ciders will be this land's butter beer because that automatically sounds like it's going to be very, very good. Smith Fire Grill will be overlooking the fire drill attraction, and it's going to be a quick service dining location featuring delicious hearty meals, flame sealed, flame seared by a helpful unseen dragon fry cook. And I may be unseen, but I'm sure I'll be able to hear some noises back there uh, to, you know, increase the immersion. At Hooligan's Grog and Gruel, guests can grab quick bites at this festive racing-themed food stand located in the Viking camp, which is perfect for all the, for all the kids as they uh, tire out and get hungry after climbing and sliding all day long. All the names of the highly-themed shops will be Viking Traders, How to Treat Your Dragon, which will be, expect some tasty treats at that one, Hiccups Workshop, and Toothless's Treasures. According to Alicia Stella, each land is rumored to have an, an interactive element. The Dark Universe will have their own interactive elements. Super Nintendo will have the power bands. The wands will be at Harry Potter, of course. And here, there will be a device you, you, can, uh, you can buy a dragon at one of these shops, and they can interact with all the other dragons as well as other little baby dragons that other people buy. So that will be the interactive element for this land, which sounds actually super freaking cool. And yes... Two of four lands officially revealed. Celestial Park and now Isle of Burke, How to Train Your Dragon. Expect more land reveals every single month from Universal Orlando, including Ep uh, Super Nintendo World, Super Nintendo World, The Wizarding World of Harry Potter, Paris, as well as the Dark Universe. And the hotels will each get their separate um, announcements as well. So stay tuned to Theme Park Wizard Oz. We'll be covering Epic Universe updates, of course, every couple of weeks, as well as its official announcements with official concept art when Universal releases them. If you like this video, press that thumbs up button and subscribe for more theme park updates. If you want behind-the-scenes content, sneak previews, and more, consider uh, supporting the channel by getting a, join, becoming a YouTube member and clicking that join button down below for a rumor podcast as well that I do every single month. And also, uh, if you want to just help support the channel, you can ch check out Patreon, patreon.com slash patreon.com slash club722. Other than that, that's going to do it for this evening. If you liked this video, press thumbs up. Comment below what are you most excited for for at this land, how to train your dragon, what attraction or the show, uh, or what restaurant are you most excited for. And as always, have an epic day.